Welcome to Oracle SQL and PLSQL session. In PLSQL, we have three types of looping. So what is that looping? Simple loop you can go for simple loop. One is so you can start the loop. You can write some serial code and you can go for end loop. So how it will come out of Okay, so you have to write exit when some condition. When I have to exit from the loop. So exit when in this particular condition meets, you exit. So that you have to write. Okay, you have to write exit when this condition meets, you have to go to the end. This is normal simple looping. Loop, end loop. Okay, then we will go for while loop. So we have three types of loop. One is simple loop, while loop, for loop. What is while loop? So while loop, you will check the condition first. If the condition satisfied, then we will get into the loop. This will not check the condition. It will go inside the loop, then it will execute one time, then only it will check the conditions, okay? But here, first of all, it will check the condition. If the condition satisfied, then only it will go inside the loop. Otherwise, it will come out of the loop. That's a while loop. Par loop means par loop, par condition. Some, some you can write some conditions. It will go inside the loop. Okay. So it's very, very simple. So what is that meaning of this one? I want to print this hello some five times. Five times. I want to go for this loop. I'm just a starting loop. Begin loop whenever i am starting loop make sure that you are making end loop same way like if statement right you can put in end loop loop and end loop first i am printing this so that's why i told loop statement if you are going for at least one time it will execute the statement one time at least it will execute dbms output see here i am writing dbms output so you can go for any other DBMS here. So I'm writing, okay. So welcome here. Welcome to PLSQL. PLSQL. Okay, welcome to PLSQL. I'm writing. So first it will go for welcome to PLSQL. C C is first zero. Right. So welcome. It may take okay. You can go for one here. Greater than five. That's it. Okay. See, first time assigning value. C is number. Initializing the value with one. DBMS output. Welcome to PLSQL. One time. It will one print one. C equal to C plus one. One plus one, two now, right? It is two now, right? Let's take take two. Exit when exit from the loop when c is greater than 5 that time you can exit exit so now it is 2 only again it will go inside the loop it will execute one time plsql 2 now it's a 3 it will not exit one more time it will go inside so it will print like 4 so this will go this way 5 times it will print See, whenever you are writing looping statement, you write it in loop. Simple loop, you have to make exit when condition. Okay. Exit when condition. How many times it will print? Five times it will print. can see this welcome to plsql1 this way it will come see that is why i told if two or three members if two or three members are getting salary more than 1 lakh you can loop into you can go into the loop and execute the same if statement if 
if it is no record found if the count is like a zero then you can come out of the exit when count is zero so that statement you can write it so all the salaries those who are getting more than 10000 it will get deleted so automatically so even you can write one simple statement delete from table name where salary greater than all this you can write simply but i'm telling you can use the same way you can go multiple times loop yes you can check it here this is simple loop sometimes this is also in interview they will ask this type of questions first time assigning c equal to 0 first time incrementing the value c equal to c plus 2 2 will be printed exit when c is greater than 10 end loop again it will go for so from 0 to 10 whatever the odds are even number it is there it will print right even number right see 2 4 6 8 10 all the even numbers will get printed why because i'm adding two 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 numbers right here so that's what you can add see you can write any any type of looping statement so page number page one of 50 okay so something like 50 times we are writing right page one of 50 like 50 or 50 50 times you are are going to the looping so even you can get some this value from the user and check whether you are going to the particular range also from this range to this range you have to print yes you can get some two ranges from the user then you can print so next one is while loop see this is the syntax for the while loop so please make sure that you are remembering the syntax while condition loop executable statement and end loop that's it see first it will check for the condition that's the advantage of while loop so first of all i want to check the condition if the condition satisfies then only i have to execute the statement then you can go for while loop okay don't go for simple loop at least one time it will execute right so that's why you can go for while loop so here if you see this why the declaring the variables is c equal to zero here begin while c is less than or equal to five yes hello it will print one time right so five times it will print so you have to put increment here yes you have to you have to use increment the the variable you have to put increment so whatever the variable you are using right so that variable you have to increment so otherwise it will not be incremented if you don't use this it will go for infinite loop so sometimes you may do this kind of mistake you will be using if you are not using this the buffer will go out of the range so you'll be getting see how many times it has printed see here right see buffer size is 20000 so all the 20000 it has printed so it is raising on application error it's an exception actually buffer overflow so limit of 20000 bytes so that's why we are getting this so if you are writing any looping statements don't forget to use this increment value so if you forget to use increment then it will go for infinite loop okay six times it is printing right so since i am starting from zero and less than or equal to i'm making okay so if you don't use equal to so here it will go for five times only since i'm starting from zero right so that's why otherwise you have to start from one you can put less than or equal to five so when will you go for while loop so first to check the condition if the condition satisfies then you have to go for the while loop okay then for loop so for loop is the same way see this is the syntax of for loop for variable 
Okay, so this is syntax. Remember this for variable in you have to use in in keyword. The reverse is optional one. What is that? The reverse is optional one. Low value two dot and then high value. You have to use this way. The low value two dots. We have to go for high value. Then the same way looping executable statement. And here no need to increment. Why? Because here, here itself you are mentioning what is the low value end value. For an example, if you are using reverse, then you have to use end value, then up to low value. So five to one, you have to make this way. So I'm just writing this. C1 is the number begin for C1 in one to five, five times I have to go for this loop, looping end loop. And we have this end is for this begin. So if you if you keep the cursor here, it will show you. So where it is starting, where it is ending. So even the, the notepad plus plus also it will show you. So if you are making, so this way you can see here, it will show you where it is starting, where it is ending. But here it is not showing the end loop, right? But here it will show you. In the PLSQL developer, it will show you. So five times I have to go for. So just you can execute. This way, five times it will execute. So if you if I want to go for five to one here, this one you can write uh, uh, normal value only. Okay, one to five, but this will be printed in reverse order. It will take you can see here five four three two one right. If you are taking first value will be print. See this value you have to give low value, high value only. But here it will take. So I will comment this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. No need to change here. You are changing here, right? Reverse. So that will be reversed. 